What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another tutorial video. We are playing some Bellatro and today we are discussing how to go about playing the Plasma deck. So quickly, what is the Plasma deck? Well, it balances your chips and molt when calculating your score for a played hand. That is extraordinarily powerful. That means if you had 200 chips and 10 molt, well, that's 210 of the total with each and it makes it 105 times 105, which is obviously a lot bigger of a score. The example I always use is if you were going for a high score and you had, you know, 100 million molt and only 100 chips, well, 100 times 100 million is a billion. That's a pretty solid score, except, you know, 50 million times 50 million is a much, 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 much higher uh, score, and you're talking about getting into the ease at that point. So Plasma deck is a fantastic deck if you're going for an unseated or even a seated high score. The times two base blind size can be a little bit trickier at higher stakes, but today we're gonna talk through how to approach this very powerful, but very interesting deck. So the biggest thing I wanna say is if you're just going for a win, there's one way to approach it in my mind, and that is just focus on chips. It is easier and more consistent to be able to build chips, build the level of your hands, you know, flushes and whatnot, adding more chips. Because at the end of the day, if these things are going to even and you can get your chips up to 500, 600, and then you're getting 300 times 300, you're in a really, really good spot. Um, and you're not gonna have to stress so much. In my opinion, the ultimate card for Plasma deck for just winning a run is a Stuntman. If you get two Stuntmen or a Stuntman on Blueprint, you're golden. Um, just reference Murphy's video where he <laughs> actually beat Bellatro blindfolded on a seeded run, but what he had was a seed where he was on Plasma deck, he was able to get a Blueprint and a Stuntman very early. You just Blueprint that Stuntman and you win. <laughs> it's basically over and you can even beat it on Gold Stake really with just those two Jokers. Now, the interesting part comes when you're going for high scores with Plasma Deck. And it's this point in the game where, okay, you've, you've you used chips to get through, you know, the first eight antis. Now you obviously want to switch to Molt because Molt has the opportunity to multiply and get into the billions, you know, with Idol, with Baron, with Mime, with Sock and Buskin, as you've seen before in some of my other, other videos. If you haven't seen my tips on getting high scores, you can check out that video. I'll put it in the top right in the card. But anyway... That transition is not easy. I would say even as someone who plays a lot of Bellatro who has now gone some pretty high scores, seated and unseated on Plasma deck, that transition from chips to molt is pinnacle and it's almost a little bit difficult. But the key is saving up a bunch of money, finally getting that one key card like a Baron or like an Idol, you know, making the switch and then being able to reroll the shops to fill out your other jo jokers to add even more molt. So there's no one right way to make that switch from chips to molt, but eventually you're gonna have to do it if you're going for a high score. Now, again, if you're just trying to beat it, get through eight antis, you can just stick with chips all the way through. And today we're gonna go ahead and play a game on white stake difficulty. I'm gonna play through the first antis, hopefully focusing on chips, and hopefully we get to see that moment where I try to flip to molt. Um, no guarantees, as always, I do one attempt at these runs in these tutorial videos so I can talk through everything slowly, explain what I'm doing, and you can see it live because just like how when you're playing at home, not every run's going to be perfect. And I don't want to show you a perfect run. I want to show you what my thought process is, how to go about it, and the fact that even when you do something right or you use my tutorial, stuff can go wrong. And, you know, how do we navigate that? Can we still overcome that? So without further ado, let's jump into it. So we're here on an unseated run. We're gonna jump into it. We are playing on the experimental build. So we are playing um, with some of the new changes from the patch. And I also have a video breaking down the patch notes. And you'll see that you do have to score, again, two times the baseline. But as you see, due to the balancing, we got 1500. We basically tripled the required score, so we're good. And right away, this is what I'm talking about. A crafty joker to give us more chips when we play a flush, maybe the tower to play high card with stone cards. All in all, very, very good cards, I think, for when you're trying to play the plasma deck. So we'll go here and we'll go for a diamond flush. And we're gonna utilize those 80 chips from Crafty Joker. And the one thing I do like about plasma deck is I have complained about plasma deck in the past, I'm not gonna lie. 
is that it does allow you to utilize jokers you wouldn't normally use. Like normally, I wouldn't really want to use Crafty Joker, but in this instance, you know, it led to a 6,000 point score. I feel pretty good. Or Blue Joker. He's one I actually do use quite a bit, but even more powerful in this Plasma deck because we're just going to be adding more and more chips. And we'll go ahead and grab a Jupiter because it's going to add and level up our hand. And it scales pretty well for chips, which again is kind of the focus right now. All right, so this five is debuffed. It looks like we probably want to go for hearts since none of those cards should be debuffed. I think our spades and diamonds might be. We are going to go ahead and grab that right here, and this will be way more than enough. Went a little bit lower on Blue Joker. We probably could have even played high card with, <laughs> with Blue Joker, but they didn't want to risk it. And here's the other thing. If you are going for a high score, it doesn't hurt to play high card because it can lead to a pretty solid economy. If you can get stuff like Blue Joker and Stuntman, it really helps you out in that aspect. And look, I can't pass up Omega Spectral. See, here's the thing. Sometimes you got to have fun <laughs> while playing Bellatro and... Omega Spectral like this is fantastic. Um, I'm going to go ahead and immolate. We're going to get $20. We're going to thin out the deck. Uh, we'll see what we lost. No one suit got really that crushed, but I am going to delete Crafty Joker. I'm going to go ahead and ink and just make two blue jokers. I think I'm happy with that. We now have $23, so we're grabbing Arcana. And here's the other part. You're going for high scores. Usually you want to build towards kings, in my opinion, so... If there's anything to help us build towards Kings there, we would have done it. There wasn't. Now, again, deck thinning does hurt Blue Joker a little bit, but as you'll see, we'll be absolutely fine. We can probably play this Tower card, play it with a Jack High card, and I imagine we'll be absolutely fine. We're at 10,000 points. So, all in all, very good position. We'll crack open this Buffoon pack, see if there's anything useful in here. Astronomer is very helpful. can help level up our hands. We could go back. Um, we'll think about this after this round. Again, I'm going to try and showcase going into Endless. So I don't hate the idea of going back and, you know, building up my deck to what I want, which is Kings, a little bit more. Square Joker, another one that would work really well. Egg can work really well. You know what? Heck. We'll open up the Standard and the Arcana. Uh, a Steel Jack isn't terrible, but I don't think we need it. We'll go ahead and look at this Arcana. We'll go ahead and Devil a King, which means we'll get a little bit more economy. And for, for the purposes of this video, we won't go back. Losing the hand does kind of hurt the economy. We do have to play five cards, which is a bit annoying, but we'll go ahead and play this two pair. And we're totally fine. We want to play four cards to, to level up Square Joker, but... That was not an option, obviously, right there. We will buy and use a Temperance. We will make our hand size bigger, or our, sorry, total hands bigger with a Grabber. And then Astronomer makes all planet cards free, including the planet pack. So we'll go ahead and make sure we're buying all of those. Egg, of course, if I didn't explain really quick, gains $3 of sell value, which really helps with those Temperances, by the way. Square Joker. Uh, is a scaling chip joker. Every time you play four cards, it adds more chips. And then blue joker just gives you chips for every remaining card in your deck. The reason we're opening up these jumbo standards is to attempt to get stuff like really good kings. Um, but I'll take a blue seal queen. The new blue seal, by the way, gives you a planet card of your last played hand. So if our last played hand is a high card, it will give us a Pluto, which is really useful. And I think we'll be able to demonstrate that right here we'll play four cards for square joker we played high card so we'll get a pluto <laughs> it's a very good deal in my opinion um blue seal i mean that one little buff has made a huge difference so here's the thing card sharp normally a fantastic card we're not building towards molt right now same thing with pants and spare trousers and really any additive molt we're not going to be looking towards until maybe late game when we make the switch if we need a little bit of extra flat mold. We'll go ahead and make our high card even better. And grab an Arcana. Hmm, nothing huge here. We will add just another stone card again to give us a few more chips. We will reroll once. 80 chips for two pair. I think I'm okay. It aligns with what we're doing, but it's really unneeded. 
we will get all of that out of here. We'll try and get the gold or at least the blue seal out. But if it doesn't come out, it doesn't come out. It does not come out, so we'll just play these four. Build up our square. And we're, still, we're scoring 16,000 per hand just with all these chips, so we're in a pretty good spot. Again, grabbing the Celestial. Gonna go ahead and grab a Pluto. Looking for stuff that can be a really good king or turn into a really good king over there. Abstract Joker is interesting because it will give us a flat 50 chips because it's foil. Um, but not really needed. Wouldn't mind tarot cards, but I'm not going to play super position, so. I am not a fan of super position if you don't know my thoughts on it. I think it is a pretty bad card. Now, granted, what I'm doing right now is going to lead to a smaller score because I am discarding, making blue joker worse. If we play the hand right away, we would be in a better spot with these two. We'll go ahead again and grab our Pluto. And we'll grab this Arcane. A Strength. I think we'll build one more King. Move a, a 10 closer to a King. Again, just making that Pluto high. We're now getting 55, 55 chips for playing a high card, which is fantastic. And again, Square Joker scaling a little bit. Ooh, Stone Joker. Now this would scale nice if we can add some more stone cards. I think we'll get rid of a blue joker in favor of one stone joker. Not a card I use often, but it is very good on the plasma deck. So again, we don't need to one shot. I'd rather get a gold or the blue seal out. Um, so I am going to discard and try and look for those. And we just can't quite get it. It's fine. We'll play four cards. And uh, exactly 10,000 points. Well, there you go. Cash out. Again, make high card better. Grab another Celestial. Uh, no high card this time, but we'll grab Venus. And we'll also look at an Arcana. Uh, we could Hierophant just to give us some extra chips, but not really needed. Probably Hangman. We'll go ahead and wheel. Get some nopes in the chat. We'll buy and sell because we don't need that Neptune. I'll re-roll one more time. Ooh, banner. Uh, if we want to move away from discarding, this would be pretty solid. I think we'll sell Blue Joker in favor of banner, and we just won't discard. We will get rid of these. And these are two cards we want to get out anyway. So, perfect for that. We go ahead and get an extra planet card. We get extra money from that gold card. Cash out, and we're feeling good. Delayed gratification is fantastic because we're not going to be discarding. I think we may say goodbye to one of these. We'll think about it, we'll think about it. A nice five, nothing really nice outside of that. So we'll grab this jumbo. Again, we'll make some more kings. Uh, delayed gratification. You earn $2 per discard if no discards are used. So we'll give us $6. I think I want the $6 over the free planets. Just because I can do more with the 6 versus just get planets. Uh, we're going to go ahead and play this. Upgrade our square. We're no longer one-shotting. Um, but we're totally fine. Especially when we get some stone cards in here. Our score skyrockets to 40k. So, that feels good. Nothing here. We will grab Telescope to make sure all our packs have Plutos going forward. And grab a couple of Arcanas. So, right here, I think we're going to make another stone card. And then we're going to shrink these jacks to queens again. Working them towards kings. And right here, we're probably going to hangman two lower tier cards that we don't need. Erosion is at 40 molt. That is very solid. I'm almost tempted to get rid of square joker just to have that base molt. Um, because it's giving us about the same amount as square joker. Again, in plasma deck, chips and molt are basically equal. They're the same thing. Except, of course, molt can be timesed with other jokers like card chart. 
So this 40 times 3, this might be the time to switch towards Molt a little bit. It's hard. It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world because this would be 40 and then this would be times it by 3, so 80 basically. Um, for a total of 120 Molt. Mm, we're going to have to think about this for a second. Um, it's not giving us 75. Do we really want to sell our egg? Not ideally, but... Yeah, I think we'll, we'll do that. I think it's time to split the difference. And this is something that can happen. I'm actually kind of glad this did come up. Um, there are times playing Plasma Deck where you don't make the full switch all at once and you kind of do in half and half. And I think we, we got a rare occasion where we're going to be doing that. Um, wow, okay. It's a lot of kings. But we're going to go ahead and play a high card. Oh, that already won. We didn't even have to get the card chirp. <laughs> but yeah, the idea here is because card chirp and erosion are going to hit so well together, 40 and then times it by 3, that it's worth replacing our chips at this point. Uh, ice cream It's a little bit better than banner, but we're not discarding right now, so no worries there. We get a deja vu, which is fantastic. We want red seals. Hopefully that will eventually become a stone king, or a, a steel king, that is. Grab a Pluto. We'll re-roll. Eh, re-roll one more time. And we're good. We'll move on. Beautiful. We're going to go ahead and play this. 32,000. Now you'll see the power of card sharp with our molt times in by three. Beautiful. 40,000 point hander. So I think around there. Go ahead and use another Pluto. We'll open up a Celestial, and guess what? We'll use another Pluto, getting our high card all the way up to level 11 already. It's fantastic. Um, here, I guess we Priestess, and then we'll just sell these. Nothing I really wanted. We'll go ahead and take a look at the boss behind the needle. We won't be triggering. Reroll me one more time. All right, we continue. So we only get one hand, so card chart doesn't help. But I think playing this will be way more than enough. And it will be 36,000. So we move on to the next. We will get even more hands, which means we'll probably be even better uh, in terms of making sure we get out of the first EEATs. Grab another Pluto, a Red Seal King. We will definitely want to turn that into steel if we want to play Baron Mime, maybe even glass if we go a different route, but we'll continue for now. And we will play this high card. And then we'll play one more. And we'll see how many points exactly this is. Yeah, okay, so 2875. It's 50,000 points once we get card sharp activated, which means we're in a very good spot. And again, our high card, super good spot, all the way up to level 14, without even using like a Burnt Joker or a Space Joker. Um, a death, <laughs> unfortunately, with no King here. We wish we still had our Egg, but we'll Temperance. We'll keep that up there to block it from coming up. Ooh, two cards we want. We want that Strength, and we definitely want a Mime. Um, I think it's time to get rid of Delayed Gratification. We'll grab Mine. And we'll continue. So we'll play this. Again, it'll be like 30,000. And then we want that red seal queen to strength, actually. Oh, we don't want to play a pair. We'll just play a normal high card. Unfortunately, mine wasn't able to do anything there, but that is fine. We'll get rid of this Lovers. We'll add a Devil. A Bull is pretty solid if we had a little bit more economy going. We don't, so that's that. Go ahead and grab a Black Hole, which turns everything up a level. And uh, we'll open up this Jumbo Arcana, just in case we see anything cool. Or Jumbo Standard, excuse me. 
We didn't see anything cool playing in one hand type. That obviously will not be a problem for us. We will strength these two. We will make you gold. And then we will play this high card. And now this will not only give us $6 with mime, it'll also give us two Plutos, which is pretty fantastic. And you'll get to see this in action here because of mime, gorgeous. So again, scaling our hand extremely quickly while also giving us a very good base economy. Now we just would love to see a Baron. And then we can really make the switch all the way to Molt and just totally forget about the chips. Um, nothing quite here. Reroll me one more time. We will double our money. And we'll move on. So, here we'll make another stone card. For the time being, make stone joker better. I mean, why not? Doesn't hurt. Get 67,000 right there. Get our good king out, which is great. And grab another two Plutos and a bit more economy. So again, as you saw, the whole point in the Plasma deck and getting back to what this video is about was chips early. Um, sometimes you make the switch to Molt all at once. We were luckily in a position where we got really good base and X Molt in one. And we kind of could flip and go half and half. Uh, that's normally not the best strategy, but again... Not every build's going to be the same, and this is an example of how of slowly kind of transitioning to Molt from chips. Because we're still getting a lot of our points from these chip jokers. We can't abandon them yet. We would need something like a Baron to do so. We're going to go ahead and make our deck even smaller. <coughs> Which does nothing else but help erosion. We will Temperance and get that $13. We would love to see a Chariot for one of our kings. We'll buy and use Temperance to get even more money. We'll grab a fool. Uh, a foil hallucination is pretty great. I think I'm willing to sell banner. We get 40 less chips, but we have the benefit of hallucination, which is going to make or give us tarot cards every time we open a pack. And we'll go ahead and play this high card. And we're not really in, in any danger of not scoring enough points. We could also discard now. Try and get that gold out would be ideal. And there it is. <laughs> we'll play this. We'll actually go ahead and use this full and use this temperance because it is going to give us two Plutos and we wouldn't have had space to get both of them. So we'll go ahead and again use these. I think our chips is now up to 200 with high card. And that base molt of 21 will be huge when we start going for X bolt. We'll go ahead and open up the Celestial. Hallucination, thank you for the tarot card. Not a good tarot card, but thank you nonetheless for one of them. We'll use this to make sure we don't get another one like that. Um, well, strength. I mean, wasn't great, but could have been worse. <laughs> a nice foil Jimbo Joker. Grab a death. Reroll me one more time. All right, we continue. Discard two random cards. Uh, hopefully you don't discard my gold. We will go ahead and use a death a little early here. Okay, didn't discard it. Obviously, I would love to save that death for a... Oh, I got rid of the gold. Oops, accidentally played a pair. That wasn't good. We'll go ahead and go back and play a high card. Um, we want to save the death for a Red Seal Steel, but we haven't seen the Chariot yet, so why not make some more Red Seals that we could potentially cherry in the future? We don't want to hold that death forever. We could go back around at this point if we really want to give ourselves a little bit more space to get this high score run going. You know what? And I'm going to go ahead and just Devil right now and make it gold for the time being we will eventually hopefully switch it to steel um no we'll wheel of fortune perfect <laughs> more chips 
we'll grab a Pluto. We got another death. Hallucinations going crazy right now. Um, we'll probably go back right there at 150. Won't reroll anymore. We'll play this. Beautiful. 68,000. All right. Now we're trying to get the one king out. Yeah, we didn't quite get it. We'll go ahead and death. Then we'll just play this high card. But we will get tons of money from these three golds. I think that would be, that was a total of $15 just from the gold cards. We'll wait again one more round to go back. Reroll me a couple of times. Solid, hangman. Banner came back. We'll go ahead and temperance. Money is on sale after all. Nothing good in this snare pack. Jumbo Celestial will give us another Pluto. And we'll continue. We'll go ahead and death these two cards. We'll play this high card. And then we'll use some discards to try and get all our golds out. Not quite, but that's totally fine. And then again, lots of money, lots of Plutos. Very good position we're in. So now we'll use this Pluto. We'll use this Pluto, level 28 high card. Again, seeing the power of Plasma deck. We are gonna go back around, lose a hand. But at this point we can afford it. We want more run runway to try and switch and get that Baron that will really make our run kind of pop off. Okay. You do have to deal with Amber Acorn now, but these being flipped isn't going to be the end of the world. We just got to see where our Molt is. I think it was there, so we're totally good. Because that means Card Sharp will hit over here. Beautiful. We'll play this. We got a bunch of golds. And we're at 230,000. And remember, card sharp's getting even better because our base molt, on top of the erosion being at 52, for high card, it's all the way at 30 now between these two. So we'll grab blank voucher, hopefully give us an extra joker spot in the future. Grab an arcana. Again, we're just going to hangman these lower cards. We got a wheel of fortune, we'll use it, get some nopes. Um, I'm actually going to take this purple seal to make tarot cards by discarding it. Just rerolling a bit to see if there's any jokers we want. Unfortunately, none came up. We'll just play this really quick. And again, we want to get our golds out. Oh, we accidentally one shot it. <laughs> okay. 109,000 without card sharp hitting. That is where we're at, which... Good place to be. Unfortunate that we weren't able to min-max there a little bit more with getting those golds out. Again, the reason... Ooh, a chariot. Yes. The reason we want the golds... Oh, and then we get a stuntman. I think we, we gotta grab a stuntman just to prove how valuable it is. Although this is at 150 chips, so this is only 100 more. Uh, it's a little late. But I'm still gonna do it just to just to show you one time. Um, but again, we want those golds out to get more money, basically. Point it very bluntly and straightforward. So you'll see the power of Stuntman here, making our chips go to like 700. It's insane. We'll. S buy this high card we'll buy this high card and odd todd is also a very good plasma card especially early on again when you're going for those chips another black hole we'll keep judgment up there so it doesn't spawn in our pack we got another cherry which is fantastic we'll go ahead and we'll probably actually keep that up there we'll just hermit and get more money again looking for a baron a showman 
isn't terrible, but we don't need it right now. Banana isn't terrible. All right, didn't quite get what we wanted. Um, we're gonna have to sell a Joker, probably. Well, we don't really have to sell a Joker because we can play two high cards and be fine. So we're probably just gonna do that. And I am going to flip this to steal at this point. We'll death here. We'll play this, debuffed, but doesn't matter. The power of the plasma deck compels us. And we head into endless mode. So again, we haven't fully committed to the switch yet to, to molt, but we're getting very close to being able to. A Baron would help. It's not even necessary at this point with how many steals we're making, um, but would be welcomed. Grab a standard pack here. Nothing we really want. Uh, trading card <laughs> kind of goes crazy, but we are going to grab a hangman. We already thinned our deck to a very good amount. So really not needed. Discard that three. Get a tarot card. Oh, we are at the point where we're one-shotting because of my red seal and those. So we could probably at this point abandon the chips and I think we're going to. We'll even grab a gross Michelle because why not just get a little bit more base mold. Although again, it's probably not going to matter too much. Uh, the base mold that is because the steels are doing a lot of the timesing. Uh, Nothing quite we wanted. Reroll, reroll a couple times. Bloodstone isn't terrible, um, but I'm actually even gonna get rid of Gross Michelle for Juggler, just get the hand size. So here we have the bigger hand size, we will discard. We will discard and We'll discard. Then we'll just play this. In beautiful. We're at 240,000. And now we'll be at basically triple that with card chart. Yeah, we're at a million. Ooh, forgot to sell that so we can have two Palotos, but that's okay. And the big thing here is why Mime and those steals are working so well is because we have 40 base mold with high card. Um, it really expedites how great Steel Kings can be when you have such good base mold already happening in your hand. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and make more tarot cards. We're gonna buffoon, see if the elusive Baron's in here. Doesn't seem to be. Sell that, sell that. Reroll me. Money sale. Holographic, I guess. Uh, grab a chariot. We'll grab an emperor. Reroll one more time. Fortune teller isn't terrible, but not really needed. Um, unfortunately, these are debuffed because of the diamonds. That is okay. Should be fine regardless. Uh, we will trade this. We'll use this. We'll go ahead and hire Fran. Ooh, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh well. We'll sell. Make space for the two Plutos. And this should be fine because of card chirp. Uh, we'll have to play a couple more. The diamonds being debuffed was not ideal, but better to happen now in anti nine when we're able to get through it than in anti where where we where we just couldn't. And we do have to note that most of our red seals are on these diamonds. We do have one club red seal, and we would love to make more copies of that. Got a Pluto here, got a Pluto here. 
we'll make these, you know, lucky. Why not? Maybe we get the money. Uh, the money would be fantastic, but a cherry is great. Rerolling. One very specific card in mind. Probably not going to grab that. No real reason to. Okay. We're going to discard all of these. Uh, well, wasn't able to use all of them because I didn't make enough space. And so that's the thing. When you're discarding to make tarot's or you have blue seals at the end, you have to make sure you have space. Something I forget way too often, honestly. Um, but it's best, best to not forget. And we'll see where our score is now. 700,000. And then when we are able to utilize card sharp, it's going to be even a little bit higher at 4 million. So at this point, erosion's not really doing much due to, again, the seals. We could definitely flip it for some x -Molt. If we find a card that gives us x -Molt, Um I mean, technically loyalty does, <laughs> but it's not very often. Uh... Yeah, why not Aura? We'll see what we can do. Ah, would have preferred a Polychrome, but we'll take it. And we'll continue to move our high card up. Emperor, sell, use, sell, sell. Alright, we go to the next round. So now we'll be able to get two tarot cards from this. That's good. We will chariot this. We'll sell the lovers. Get rid of all those. Get rid of all these. Play this. Very close to being enough. This definitely should be enough. Yes, 9 million. Get a couple more Plutos. Get some good economy going. Buy this. Buy this. We will definitely buy a death. That's great. Should have bought the clearance sale a while ago. That was just a mistake. If you're in the comments being like, why didn't he buy that sooner? Uh, accidents happen. I guess is all I can say. By accidents, I mean me not paying attention. Uh... We'll go ahead and sell and grab this Steel Joker and go next round. Now, our money is probably going to go to zero because we, we kind of have to play high card. Um, Should have read that boss blind and basically used all my money in the shop. But it is what it is. I mean, our pair is solid. We can see what the pair does without card sharp and then have an idea. Yeah, it's not very, very good. <laughs> so yeah, we'll go ahead and just play high card. And we'll do it right here. Put our money at zero. It's okay. We'll sell these. We'll have a couple dollars. 141 million. So <laughs> the other side of the coin with all those good um, steals out and a much higher base molt with our high card, our score was much, much, much better. Go ahead and double U. If you're not going to be steel, you might as well be gold is how we're going to look at it. We now need to rebuild up our economy. And this run at this point, in this kind of tutorial video that's turned into a little bit more than that, I feel like, all kind of rides on that ability to get a Baron. But if we don't, it's okay. I feel like we've demonstrated kind of the power of the plasma deck pretty well so far. We demonstrated how to, we have now fully transitioned to the molt. We started off with chips, we went a little bit half and half. Now we're full molt. And that's what you want to do. And um, at this point, you probably got everything you need. We're kind of just playing for fun. Continue to thin out the deck. We want it to basically be all kings if we can have it there. And we do have 15, so it is majority or close to majority kings. 
Okay. We rerolled a bunch. Weren't able to get anything we wanted. Uh, another stinker. Got rid of that. We'd love to chariot that red seal at some point. Go ahead and play these two. Not quite enough, but... Ooh, can't discard it. We'll play it. With card sharp, we got there. So we need three steals and a red steal to get 62 minute million. That's important to note. Uh, reserve parking actually would have been kind of better than Cardomancer at this point. Should have thought about that. Go ahead and make our Pluto even better. Hangman is fantastic. Strength doesn't hurt. Another Pluto doesn't hurt. It's a pretty good shop in terms of planet and tarot cards. I don't think we we need a strength. So I'll let Cardomancer do its thing here. It's a hermit. I will take that. We're going to hangman these. We're going to try and get some of those steals out. We'll play this. Beautiful. 36 million. Grab some economy. And again, just looking for a, a baron. I mean, a blueprint or a, a brainstormer, obviously. Also very welcome. And we will totally accept them showing up, but... Sell this. Probably use this for a little bit just to make some extra money off our kings, our gold kings. So we actually will make more money discarding them if they don't have a red seal. Um... Again, I card up to a ridiculous level now, but that will happen. Another hangman. Uh, you know what? We'll go to to the moon. And six hundred million. I don't know if that's achievable. <laughs> this might be the end of the run, but again, I think what we we kind of did what we set out to do. A little bit here. We'll see where this is. We might be, have enough to get into the 600 million range. Yeah, alright. We're at 2 billion. Definitely helps to get those extra red seal steel kings. Definitely helps that Pluto is now in high cards at level 54. But we're kind of scraping by. Another hangman. The deck is mostly kings now. Burnt Joker is is nice. We don't need it. I mean, at level 55, we're we're seeing minimal returns now. Another hangman. An invis joker. Interesting. We definitely will grab that. Um we'll buy you will go. 900 million is also scary. Got Empress. We will fool. We're going to Hangman and we're going to discard you. Uh, we'll play this. We should be in a pretty good spot here. Technically, it doesn't matter if they're kings or not kings, because we don't have a baron yet. So, 13 billion. The thing is, we will want this to hit mine, so we have to sell these two. Oh, Mega Buffoon me? No. Still, still no baron. Very nice crafty. Reserve parking goes crazy, but we don't have the luxury. The high priestess is not what we wanted. Um, we'll go ahead and play this. Beautiful. I think we'll, we're still okay, but. <laughs> Again, this run is getting very close to the end. 
Well, we can go back and lose a discard. I guess we will. If we're selling all these. We're gonna get two mimes. It's a little scary. Mr. Bones can save us for a round. A brainstorm is helpful. Juggler is, is back. We have no money. We can beat the serpent and we could get two negatives. What a weird setup and game this has turned into. <laughs> um, we will destroy you two. We finally get a chariot this king. In fact, I'm not even gonna discard that. We'll play this. These are all triggering a lot. We we really want a Baron now to even out the amount of re-triggers and times it by 1.5. Alright, we'll see what these negatives are. Imagine a negative Baron. Would be very nice. Uh, instead, it's a Lusty and a Superposition. Well, <laughs> I think it might be GG's. Unless, you know, we get a Miracle. Uh, interesting. Well, we'll sell Lusty. And then we probably need to sell Cinder Bones over here. I, I don't know if we can get 94 billion. I really don't. We're about to find out though. We're gonna sell, use, sell, full strength. We're gonna discard anyway. We're definitely going to play this. I don't know if we have enough. If you hear some slurping in the background, that is Juicy, my dog, drinking her water. All right, we're okay for now. Again, the power of the plasma deck. We'll grab this arcana. We have a death, which is huge. Go ahead and death and get that king. A hangman. We don't really have much left to hangman. We just want a baron. <laughs> We need a Baron, if you will. Heck, we'll hang me in these two. We'll play this. I think we'll beat it again. But we're just looking for that Baron. Because our time is definitely limited. Grab this, grab the high cards, and we'll look at the Arcana, the Emperor, sell, sell, yeah, we'll make, what was it, level 60 now? Level 60 high card. But more importantly, we need the Darn Baron. Where is it? Nobody knows. <laughs> we'll play this. And uh, we'll watch. We'll watch all these kings trigger. If we need all the red seals out, we can get them out. But we don't. E 18. Nice. Um, do we need to cherry anything? Yeah, we'll cherry you. Because I'll grab you just to have a cherry in hand. Grab a death. A DNA isn't terrible. DNA is actually helpful here. So now this tutorial's turned into something completely different. 
where we are going for a high score. Um, but the great thing about DNA here is we're going to use you, and then we're going to death you, discard you two, sell, sell. So if we put DNA at the end, right, what it's going to do is make a ton of copies to make a bigger hand size than we would normally have due to blueprint and brainstorm. It's actually even bigger than Juggler. And without even using extra mine, we're at E15. So, that is the power of DNA. I honestly think if we get a Baron, we probably sell a mine at this point. Holographic mine. So we'll sell this one. <laughs> actually, I mean, honestly, we may sell the holographic and get more money because it's useless that it's holographic. We have no money. I have to keep remembering. Uh, not great. I messed that up a little bit. I think we're still going to be okay. Probably not going to win right here, though. We'll play this. Oh, yeah. And we'll definitely be okay. We get an extra two 1.5s by moving mine back over per king we're at e19 grab this very nice we're gonna play it in the water move you back over make a bunch of copies and we're fine but Maybe for one more ante. <laughs> Maybe for one more ante before. We basically have to get Baron. And sometimes you're just not going to get it. I mean, sometimes... It's not meant to be. I forgot I could discard. I should have done that before DNA. But it's okay. We will score enough here. Not by a ton. We'll be at E19. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah. Getting some more money. And all that money will, will go towards the Baron search funds. If you've seen Baron, please contact your local Zeno. That's better. And now we make a couple copies, put this back over, and we'll play that king over here if we need to, which I think we will. Oh, gosh. I think the, the worst part about these mine baron runs is when you don't have a mine or a baron and you're kind of like we're able to keep going but we know we're probably gonna lose the bean um i think we'll use the bean instead of dna for now where is it no repeat hand types, so that's a good thing we got the, the bean then, <laughs> instead of Baron. These are all red seal, we'll play you. This will be like E30, I think. And you're seeing now, I mean, going back to what this video is about, the power of bouncing, because our molt is in the billions, hundreds of billions. But instead of it being like a thousand times a hundred billion, it's 500 million times 500 million, which again, is just so, so much more. 
We just need a Baron. We just need a Baron so bad. But I do think, again, this run might be, as the kids say, Jover. But again, I think we accomplished what we were looking out to do in this video, which was fun. Wanted to show the power of the plasma, how to play it. And, uh, it was fun. I had fun. Hopefully you had fun. Grab that after, actually. Get more red seals out. Go ahead and play this. Our bean is decreasing. So yeah. You'll see I think we're at like E... E12 on the molt. So... It is basically... You know, if it's 2 to the E... 2 E12... It's 1 E12 times 1 E12. You know, it, or no. Yeah, yeah. Which is huge. <laughs> it, it's a much bigger number than the number it would be. Um, oh, that's, that's not ideal. We'll play you. This is not going to be close. It's not really our fault where it chooses. Now this will be close. I don't know why I used a hermit right there. But I did. Nobody questioned my decision. It's going. We're going crazy. Alright, well, we're all the way in anti-17, everyone. And we got an extra bout. Or, uh, Joker slot, so... We're cooking, I guess? Card sharp? Sure. Uh, DNA is back. We'll sell the bean. We'll grab this. I don't know if we can get E25. Like we said, we're going to do this. But if this is not enough, we lost. It's kind of silly picking up card chirp. It's not going to matter. Yeah. Good game. We had some fun. We couldn't find the Baron. But this is going to conclude how to play the Plasma deck. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you learned a lot about the chip, the molt kind of transition that we're talking about. Again, if you're just trying to get through those first eight antes and play the game and beat it, Highly recommend just going for chips. This was also a little bit of extra explanation on, okay, you're going for a high score with the Plasma deck. How do we transition our chips to our Molt, to our crazy X Molt? Obviously would have been great to get a Baron, but you know, anti-17 is nothing to snuff at. It's a score you can be, you know, leaving feeling pretty good about yourself. You had a pretty good run. Again, this was unseated. It was a lot of fun. So, we're just gonna play <laughs> one more King. And then we will see our final best hand score and all the crazy stats. We'll get to see how many times we re-rolled and didn't get a Baron. And then we'll close out the video. Alright. Highest score of 2.048, either 28, anti-17, round 53, 152 cards purchased, 133 re-rolls, and no Baron. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this one, drop a like. If you did not, you dislike. Comment down below if you learned anything, what you want to see next covered on the tutorials that we have every Sunday. And don't forget, don't be Murphy and hit that subscribe button. I'm not subscribed to Zeno on, on YouTube. And I'm sorry. There we go. We are subscribed. Subscription added.